Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed that intro. If you couldn't already tell, today we're going to be working on Andrew Garfield's role on Spider-Man. This model is done by 3D Wicked over on CG Trader. If you're looking for a good 3D models to print off, I highly suggest checking out his page on CG Trader. He has multiple models to choose from and they're all very high quality. Now, I realize what I'm about to say is an unpopular opinion, but in my opinion, Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man. Part of that may be the fact that the first Spider-Man I ever watched was The Amazing Spider-Man, so the feeling that people have towards Tobey Maguire is the feeling that I have towards Andrew Garfield. Not to mention, this scene right here is what sold it for me. When it comes to this scene, like if it didn't tug at your heartstrings, then you're one stone-cold individual. But let me know below in the comments what your favorite Spider-Man is. Now, of course, I paint all of my pieces black before I get started on any color, and then you can give yourself a nice tattoo with the arm onto your forearm. And then, of course, after doing so, you must check to make sure that you don't have any spidey powers. Unfortunately for me, I got nothing. So now it's time to move on to the color. By mixing your red and black, we're going to be making a dark red to do the base coat. Now, I highly suggest that whenever you paint on the black for the base coat and then the red, the dark red, these lines where his uh, like the spider lines are on his suit, they are sticking up quite a bit. So if you have too much paint on the brush, then you'll find paint pooling in the corners where these lines are. You don't want that, okay? <laughs> um, take your time with this. Normally what I do is I just paint the entire thing and then I'll come back with it, like no paint on the brush and just kind of clean up the corners so that I don't lose the detail by paint being pulled up in those corners. So just be mindful of that when you're painting this. Come back and clean up some of the certain spots that where paint is pooling a lot. Once you have painted everything in a nice dark red, you're then going to come back with the regular red and dry brush on the red parts of the suit. Now there is small detail to capture here, so um, make sure you're going very lightly. Don't put too much paint on the brush, um, and you should get something coming out to what you want. Also, I should mention here that as always, red is a very transparent color, so you may have to go over a couple times to make sure that you get the vibrancy that you're wanting. Be sure to do that on all of the pieces that has red, the face mask, uh, the two shoulder pieces have red, and then both the arms have red as well. Everything else we're going to be painting blue in just a minute, but uh, just tackle those and then we'll handle the blue. Now that you're all cut up on the red, it is time to start painting the blue. Um, so we're going to be mixing black and blue together, painting everything in a base coat, just like we did with the red a dark base coat and then we're going to come back and with just regular blue and we're going to highlight some of the high points by dry brushing same concept with the red as the blue i just want to take a moment here to say thank you to everyone who has supported the channel um, i really appreciate it uh as far as the channel goes is there something you guys are interested in seeing on here something that i can help you guys with um, i have some ideas in terms of how to keep the channel more interesting to a broader group of people but um, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I also want to say that um, it is a bit difficult trying to get a video every week out. Um, I do work a full-time job and resin is not exactly cheap. So I'm going to do my best in getting videos out to you guys in a timely manner. Um, so just bear with me if I don't get it out every week. Um, I'm going to try to get it out as quickly as I can, okay? Now, once you have knocked out all of the blue, you should get something looking like this. And I got to say, I like the way this is turning out. It's looking pretty clean, in my opinion. I hope yours is too. But next up is to do the line work and the webbing. And I will go ahead and let you know it is tedious and time consuming. So just be prepared for that and make sure that you have a fine tip brush for this. The key to being able to get through the webbing is going to be listening to a podcast or music or something and just taking your time if you find yourself getting annoyed at the process it's okay to set it down and come back later the last thing you want to do is get so frustrated with it that you start to rush it and then you end up creating sloppy work now it's time to grab the mask and paint on the eyes to paint on the eyes all i did was take a light gray and just very gently fill in where the eye goes on the mask and then try to eliminate your brush strokes by applying thin layers instead of having so much paint on the brush to where you leave these lines of paint. Try to keep it very clean, light brush strokes. That way it looks more flat across the eye. Now your eyes should be looking something like this. 
I want to show you guys a quick trick. If you kind of look at his suit in the movie, you'll notice that his eyes have a lot of reflection to them. And you'll notice that here, they don't have a lot of reflection to them. To create that reflection, what we're going to do is take this clear resin that we have, and we're going to add a layer of it across the white area. And then, of course, sap it with our black light so that it will harden. And then we can have this effect. Now, if you look, the right side is going to have the effect where we added the resin, and the left side is going to not have the effect. Now it's time to make Andrew's face. Uh, to do this, we're going to mix brown, red, yellow, and white together to kind of get the skin tone that we're achieving. Uh, and once you paint all of that on, you should get something like this. And then we're going to create a wash by mixing colors together with water and applying them. The first one we do is blue. And then once you do this, you're going to put the blue wash all over his face and then dry it with a paper towel. You're not really going to see much effect here because all you're doing is just tinting the bottom color that you already had. But trust me, it makes your character's skin look far better because it gives it more imperfection. You're then going to apply a yellow wash after that. Do the same thing that you did with the blue wash. Apply that yellow wash, and then after that, you're going to do a red wash and apply that to the entire face as well. After that, you're then going to paint his eyes in with a very light gray and then start on the hair. With the hair, we just painted a dark brown across the entire hair and then came back with a regular brown and just dry brush across the top. Now it's time to paint in the eyes. Uh, with the eyes, he has brown eyes in real life, so all I did was take some really dark brown and kind of create a circle uh, I should mention here that when it comes to eyes eyes can like really make or break your piece you can have an amazing looking piece and then your eyes end up being cross-eyed or whatever so they are very hard to do especially because they're really tiny um, but try your best to make them look as symmetric as possible another thing that I always mention doing that really helps out your quality of the way the eye looks is by adding a very small white dot. Usually I put that in the top right of just the center and that kind of makes your eye work a whole lot better. I should also mention here that the same technique that we used on the mask for making the eyes glossy on the mask, we're gonna use that same technique here on his eyes. We'll put a little bit of resin in there and then we'll harden it so that his eyes have a glossy effect as though they have as though they look wet you may also notice here that i took a very fine brush and a little bit of brown paint and painted on some eyebrows as well as did essentially what is eyeliner but it's to give the effect that he has eyelashes that kind of makes the piece look a little better as well finally it's time to tackle the base now without showing too much footage of this i want to i want you guys to take what you've learned so far and try to tackle the base on your own. I'll give you a hint. I dry brushed the majority of it. So do your best and try to get something that looks similar to this. If you guys have any suggestions on what you guys want to see on the channel, please let me know down in the comments. These are the pictures that I took of the model. And thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.